Hey guys, who will just it? JIT preparedness slash info. You guys go to my website now, my channel. You will see I have a nice banner put up there so you can keep up with where I'm at. Also, I want to thank everybody for coming to the Thursday live stream. That was pretty nice. We had some folks there I hadn't seen in a while and just some of the regulars. I hope it grows every week. Remember on Monday we're going to be talking about some current events and also about Bill Gates and Frankenfoods. So that should be interesting as well. So make sure you come to that Monday live stream. It will start right after Corsair Trainer's show. And it should start about uh, 11.30 Mountain Time. So look forward to seeing you guys there then. Okay, let's talk today about something I haven't talked about in probably, uh, uh, probably at least a year. So I thought I'd go back to it and talk to you guys about the rules for being a concealed carrier. Now I'm not saying uh, that I'm an expert, and I'm not telling you to do it if it's not legal in your state. I'm just saying that if you're going to do it, you should know the rules for it and whatnot. And one of the rules is uh, making sure that you use an adequate holster. You know, they have all kinds of holsters out there that are uh, state-of-the-art stuff, but actually you uh, want to just use one that actually is conformed with your body shape and uh, what you want. You know, you can just slip in, slip out, nothing real fancy. Make sure that it fits your body shape. Okay, another one is make sure that you're understanding the uh, laws in your state. What did there for a minute? But make sure that you understand the concealed carry laws in your state. Some are different than others, and you want to make sure that. You're not uh, breaking any of the laws. Uh, one of the most important things is to always stay safe with it. Not try to overdo it. Not try uh, to uh, act like it's a big deal. Another one is not undergoing adequate training. Now, that's a kind of an important one here. It's uh, a lot of people go out and they get to uh, take the course, you know, for being a concealed carry person. They get that uh, intensive background from uh, your state patrol, or that's how it is here anyway, is uh, you get a, a background check from your local police department, and then you get another back, uh, thorough background check from the uh, state patrol here. So, you want to make sure, after you get all that stuff, that you're not just saying, okay, I'm good. You want to make sure that you're going out there and you're training. And uh, as you take the course, you guys know, you go out and get, uh, do what they call, uh, <laughs> uh, qualified. But uh, that's not the same as knowing what you're doing. You need to get out there and do some. Uh, training. Uh, a good uh, uh, example of that would be to go over and see Daniel is my judge. He does training all the time and he's always checking it, ch checking to make sure the draw is right. He's doing defensive stuff. He's a good channel to go check out on that. Okay, uh, another one is thinking a uh, gun is all you need. This is another good one because you don't just need a gun around. It means, uh, let me just read what I had written down for this. Just because you carry a gun around doesn't mean you have automatic uh, protection. 
neither does it give you the reason uh, to act as like you do. Concealed carry is a responsibility that you must uh, own up to. You must be alert and you must avoid trouble at all means. So that's a big one I'm thinking that a gun is all you need. Uh, you want to have it on you, but you don't want to think that you're the big shot, like I said, and be letting people see it. Uh, you guys know that if people can see it, it's called printing, but I'll get on to that here in a second. Not having a proper mindset, that is the next one. And uh, the first rule about uh, the mindset is to avoid conflict at all costs. Staying in control is the easiest part about being in the right mindset. Make sure you're being disciplined uh, even at in the implementation of your situation. Make sure that you understand that uh, staying out of trouble is the most important part. Here where we go to is uh, the next one is printing. We had, uh, I covered it slightly back before and concealed carry means that you want to make sure that you're carrying your firearm without anybody knowing that you have it on your person. So one of the first things that you must consider is uh, where you're going to carry it and make sure that wherever you carry it, you're not letting anybody know that it's there. So uh, we're going to get out to that here in a second, but make sure that Wherever you put it, you know, most people put it around their waist somewhere. I carry mine uh, just behind the appendix and then cock it forward a little bit. So uh, any shirts that I wear are kind of down and over, you know, like over large shirt. All right. Uh, next one is frequently checking and adjusting your carry and, and that's a big one and it's hard to get over I mean your mind you know it's how your mind works uh, just because it's there you know you'll be walking along and you'll reach down and you'll just like pat, pat it or you'll reach down and you'll push the holster one way or the other that's uh, a no-no adjusting your gun all the time once you get it in position and you know where it's at, just leave it alone. Because the more you play with it and stuff like that, the more you draw attention to you having one. That goes to the next one, which is adjusting in public. And if you're adjusting in public, people know you have it. So, you know, that means that uh, lifting up your shirt and moving it around or uh, sliding it back and forth and forth. Just messing around with it. Don't mess around with it. Especially in public. If you're out in the store and it's bothering you, let it bother you. Because you can always take care of it when you go to the bathroom or when you get back out to your car or whatever. Uh, just easier to do that way. And then the next one comes to you. This is why most people fidget with their gun. And it's because you're only carrying occasionally. If you're going to carry occasionally, why did you get a concealed weapons permit? You know, uh, if you only carry it occasionally, then you're not going to be able to uh, discipline yourself into doing the other things like not messing with it when it's on your side or wherever you can see that or any of that stuff and you're not consistent uh, as to where you carry it on your person and you might need it when you don't have it you know you might be out and you might need it then what excuse me That's why you always want to carry it if you're concealed carry permit. 
And remember, all these things I'm telling you is only if you have the permit, only if you have that little card that says that you're, it's okay for you to do that. I'm not telling you to conceal carry if you don't have the right to do so. And then we're coming down to number 10, and number 10 is not regularly practicing with the skill grills ammo. So, I'm just going to read this part that I have written down so that I make sure that you understand clearly. And it says it's important that you develop a, a useful and position training habit and review your uh, progress frequently. This will give you the insight and the areas that you need to require important uh, importance of making sure you're doing it right. You, know? you can help your strategize with the skill rules to help improve your lagging skills. So what that means is practice drawing. If you practice drawing then you get good at it and you're not uh, going to shoot your foot off for one thing. But the thing is uh, I practice drawing. Uh, I don't have any uh, property where I can go out practice the in and out and the uh, they don't have any classes around here because everybody here has property. Yeah, 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 so I go out to the range and I practice my drawing skills and then I just uh, uh, shoot at targets. But that's all practice and that helps you strategize of where you have to concentrate your uh, skill at. So that is 10 mistakes that people make, and I hadn't gone through them in a while, so I thought I'd bring them back up and uh, let you guys know that uh, it's important to make sure you know what's going on around you. Situational awareness, we talk about that all the time, so you want to make sure you're talking about your situational awareness. Make sure that if you're going to conceal carry that you have the authorization to do that. Don't be doing it if you don't. I do not advocate that. So these are just the mistakes that people make that do have that little card that says it's okay to do it. And if you need any questions or anything or have any comments, put those down below. Remember to hit that thumbs up. Uh, as you come through here and I really appreciate you guys watching I will check up on you guys on Monday morning that's at 11.30 and we're right behind Corsair Trainer so I want you guys to have a great uh, weekend I'll check you later thanks for watching